Is there anything worse than light pollution? War. Though in war, it seems that light pollution is the enemy. As I release this video, a year has passed since Russia invaded Ukraine, although the two countries have actually been at war for almost nine years. But did you know that light pollution has been used as propaganda in the Russo-Ukrainian war? This past New Year, Russians celebrate the New Year similarly to how Westerners often celebrate Christmas for historical reasons I won't get into, there was a public light display in Moscow displaying pro-war propaganda. Meanwhile, in war zones throughout history and around the world, cities often turn off the lights to avoid being seen by bombers above which does take some cognition that the city lights are shining into the sky instead of the grounds where they are needed. Ukraine is no exception to this, and in comparison with its surroundings, the war in Ukraine can be seen from space. This means that the skies above many Ukrainian cities are true dark skies. The Ukrainian photographer and dark sky enthusiast Pavlo Pachomenko has taken advantage of this for astrophotography and to take photographs raising awareness about the war and the importance of dark skies. He hopes that these dark sky cities will continue to exist after the war. Of course, dark sky cities in Ukraine are like the renewable energy revolution happening in Western Europe in that if it takes a war to bring about good, that doesn't make the war worth it. But if one makes it through the darkness, one will find plenty of natural light. So no matter where you are in the world, or what war has affected your life, because it isn't just the Russo-Ukrainian war that is going on right now, I hope you can turn out the lights and appreciate the importance of darkness. And stand with Ukraine! But can we do without the political light displays?